At 40 degrees below zero, this 100-ton excavator must wake up and work while the entire environment tries to shut it down. Towering higher than a five-story gilding, these machines carve rock and ice from a landscape locked in permanent winter. Tonight, we uncover how engineers, mechanics, and operators keep heavy equipment alive in conditions that should shut everything down. In the past, the first deep freeze meant stalled engines, shatter components, and mines or construction sites grinding to a halt. Today, global demand for minerals, energy, and remote infrastructure means these frozen operations can- This Arctic-rated excavator weighs around 100 tons, with a bucket big enough to swallow small cars in a single scoop. Its counterweight alone rivals a city bus in mass, yet in this cold, even that much steel can turn dangerously brittle. To understand how these giants fight the cold, we first have to see how the cold quietly destroys heavy equipment from within. Each machine here is built to operate reliably at temperatures approaching minus 40 Fahrenheit, with structures reinforced against thermal stress. Huge diesel engines here produce hundreds of kilowatts, but in this cold they rely on external heaters just to turn over safely. The primary mission is simple but relentless. Move thousands of tons of rock per shift, whatever the thermometer reads outside. At these temperatures, regular diesel can gel into a waxy sludge that clogs filters, starving engines, and shutting machines down completely. Hydraulic fluids thicken dramatically in the cold, so Arctic-grade oils are engineered to stay pumpable even near minus 50. Extreme cold makes steel more brittle, so frames, booms, and tracks are overbuilt and carefully stress-relieved to resist catastrophic fractures. Climate-controlled cabs protect operators from wind chill that can kill in minutes, while electronic displays track every critical system in real time. Specialty Arctic lubricants and hydraulic fluids are formulated to pour, flow, and protect moving parts long after normal oils would solidify. Just getting these machines to site requires winter roads over frozen rivers, where every move is calculated to avoid catastrophic transport failures. Each unit represents a multi-million dollar investment, and a single day of weather-related downtime can cost hundreds of thousands in lost production. Ready. Behind every machine stands a coordinated team of operators, mechanics, and planners dedicated to Now, with the stakes and the hardware in place, it is time to see how these giants actually start and run. Before dawn, block heaters warm coolant and engine blocks, reducing stress on starters and batteries when the first ignition key turns. Cold starts in diesel engines thicken oil and strain components, so careful warm-up is mandatory before any heavy load is applied. Modern monitoring systems track fluid temperatures, pressures, and voltages second by second, catching issues long. Operators begin with gentle cycles, slowly moving booms and tracks to circulate warm fluid and avoid shocking cold, brittle components. Despite numbingly low temperatures, hydraulic systems must deliver millimeter level precision so operators can dig, load, and swing without damaging equipment. Cold increases risk. Ice on steps, brittle reaction times, in remote Arctic sites, spills or breakdowns can be devastating, so operators balance production with environmental protection and site stability. Sourcing. Human oversight remains critical, with supervisors watching live data from every machine, ready to... With proper preparation, these fleets can maintain impressive productivity, moving thousands of tons per hour. Frequent inspections and winter-specific checklists eliminate most first freeze failures, turning potential breakdowns into planned maintenance instead. Advanced control systems now assist operators with automated dig cycles and swing patterns, conserving fuel and re Dozens of sensors feed continuous data on temperatures, pressures, and flow rates, creating a real-time health profile for every major system. Machine learning models can now flag abnormal patterns, such as rising fuel restriction that may signal early diesel gelling or filter plugging. Satellite links keep these remote sites connected, letting experts hundreds of miles away assist with diagnostics and planning in real time. Navigation and positioning tech guide machines in blizzards and darkness, drawing virtual boundaries where physical markers are buried under snow. Adaptive control maps adjust valve timing and pump output, compensating your thicker fluids so response remains predictable even in deep cold. Heated shops allow major maintenance without exposing components or crews to lethal wind chills extending equipment life and reducing emergency repairs. 
Redundant heaters, backup generators, and spare batteries ensure, ensure that even if one system fails, critical fluids and electric Breakthrough Arctic hydraulic fluids remain mobile below minus 49 Fahrenheit, enabling fast pressurization and reliable valve operation in brutal cold. Winter diesel and anti-gel additives reshape wax crystals, preventing fuel from gelling and keeping lines and filters. Even in blinding storms and minus 40 wind chills, these machines must keep critical operations running. On record-setting days, a single excavator and truck fleet here can move tens of thousands of tons, despite sub-zero temperatures. Compared to older generations that routinely froze solid, modern fleets see dramatically fewer cold-related shutdowns thanks to better fuels, fluids, and heaters. Insulated, sometimes heated lines keep lifeblood fluids moving turning booms and buckets into fully winterized systems instead of exposed liabilities. Mayday, mayday! We have a stuck machine at grid reference 4-5. When equipment does get buried or immobile... Compared to manual methods, heavy equipment multiplies productivity by orders of magnitude, making Arctic projects feasible. An integrated Arctic fleet can feed crushers with a continuous stream of material sustaining industry. These sites often run 24 hours a day for months, scheduling maintenance and rest without ever fully surrendering to the cold. Right interim phase. Careful winterization and climate-specific maintenance can eliminate the majority of first freeze failures, saving dangers. But this is only the beginning. The same cold beating technologies will underpin even more ambitious operations. Today, these Arctic machines are already building mines, roads, and energy infrastructure that simply could not exist without. The impact ripples outward. Steady winter production feeds factories, power plants, and supply chains. Jobs, infrastructure, and services in remote communities often depend on these operations, tying human livelihoods. As demand goes, planners are already mapping new Arctic projects confident that hardened equipment can keep future sites alive through relentless winters. Researchers are developing even more advanced fluids, steels, and energy systems tailored for sub-zero environments, pushing operational limits further into the cold. Future fleets may be semi-autonomous or electric, with operators monitoring multiple machines from safe... Smarter heating and automation can cut unnecessary idling, reducing fuel consumption, emissions, and environmental impact in these fragile polar regions. The future of Arctic operations will blend human judgment, advanced materials, and intelligent machines. Here, at temperatures where untreated diesel turns waxy and standard oils refuse to flow, these giants still wake, move, and work. In the battle between machinery and the deep freeze,